Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel and today we're going to be installing a Banks Pedal Monster. So today we're installing the Banks Pedal Monster on a 2012 GMC. This is a 5.3 gas 1500 truck. Banks makes the Pedal Monster for several, several different platforms, several different applications and several different year ranges, gas and diesel. So make sure you check your fitment uh, on our website or Banks' website, either one. The Pedal Monster is Banks' Um, answer to the throttle sensitivity controllers that are out there on the market right now and we will link you in this video to our unboxing of this module uh, where we talk about some of the technical specs on it uh, is, and things so I'll give you an idea of what it does and all the features of it we're not going to harp on that in this video this is our installation video but this is an OBD2 connected uh, throttle sensitivity controller which gives it a lot of safety features um, and it's just a, a little bit more in-depth than your normal throttle sensitivity booster or controller however you want to you want to say that uh, but this one is obd2 connected now banks does this this pedal monster in a lot of different versions and it, it's it's modular uh, for lack of a better word in some in some of those so what we're going to be installing today, this is the standalone pedal monster. This is going to be used with the Banks free app uh, that you can get for iOS or Android, either one. So you don't need anything other than the module and then you download the app. They sell this uh, coupled with the iDash and both the data monster and the super gauge or they sell it as an expansion if you already have a Derringer or an iDash. Uh, that you can hook this up and it'll work in conjunction with those and then you have the ability con to control it right from the iDash and not have to use the app. Um, so a lot of different ways and if you've got a Derringer with a switch on it, uh, this will be compatible with it. So check, make sure that you check all the fitment guides, uh, but I wanted to go over that and just, just let you know on this. So. We're going to go ahead and get started with our installation uh, today. Really, not nothing that we need to do as far as updating firmware on this product, getting started. Just make sure that you've got a smartphone and you're able to download the apps uh, with that. So let's go ahead and get started with our installation. Before we install the Pedal Monster, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and get the wiring set up on these. So you have your Pedal Monster module, and this connects directly to your APPS or your, your throttle position sensor. Then you have your OBD2 drop and there is a little i'm just going to call it a reverser wire reverser goes from male to female and you have to install this so let's just show you how that's done all right so we'll go what we do is we just go ahead and unwind the obd2 cord and then on the obd2 cord you will have your little four uh, prong plug here so this has got a clip on it so we would know that we want it to go to that clip with the standard so it's going to go to the four prong here just like that four prong on one side six on the other and then you take the six prong and you actually hook it into the pedal monster according to the directions it doesn't matter what side it goes to so we're just going to go ahead and hook it up on the right because right is right that's not true um, but yeah either side will work on it so there you go that's got it all wired up and ready to go inside the truck going to show you where you're going inside this truck so on the throttle position uh, or the throttle sensitivity controllers here you're always looking for uh, the accelerator of course so pedal on the right and then there is a sensor above that so that's what we're going to look for here and in our action dynamic shot I'm going to show you how to do the clip on these Chevrolets I like to use a uh, pick that's got a, a smooth edge on it and then I just go right below one side of it and start working it back Adam had to remind me of the camera. Once it starts moving, you can go ahead and pull it back like so. And then you simply unhook your stock wiring harness. Now, we're going to go ahead and hook our Banks Pedal Monster module in here. And we will go with the male side of the Banks back to the sensor itself. Make sure that the, the uh, security connector is out. I'll move that wire so you can see it. And just push it in until it clicks. Then push your little safety latch up and then you just need to take your stock harness. Yeah, I'm going to need Adam to reach over my shoulder and hold the camera there. And we'll 
gonna hook the stock harness back in. Nice grab. Push that until it clicks, and then close the little safety latch, and voila, as we would say. So, you don't want to do anything else here after the uh, pedal monster is hooked up to the APPS as far as wiring it up, because you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to connect it to Bluetooth off of your phone. There is a button on the back of it for pairing, so we're going to need to get to be able to get to that. But you do want to go ahead and hook your OBD2 port in. So we're going to hook the OBD2 port up just like so, and then I'm going to turn the truck on real quick. Make sure I've got lights connected. Perfect. All right, so now it's time to download our app. So what you have to do is, um, with the standalone device, you will have to download the app. So if it's iOS, you just go over to the app store uh, right here, and then search for Pedal Monster, and then download the Pedal Monster app. Uh, for you Android guys, same thing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open the app up. So what we want to do first is on the phone is we want to go out to uh, settings on this and we want to go to Bluetooth and we're going to walk over here to the pedal monster and we're going to turn the truck on. So then we go back over to the bank's pedal monster app and you will have the search for device button once you do that. There is a button on the back of it. I just take a toothpick on the pedal monster and touch this button on the back. And that should pair them. And the device is now paired, so we are good to go. Now it's time to calibrate the vehicle. So it will tell us what to do there as well. So we will begin calibration. Can you see it, Adam? Yes. All right, I'm gonna go to wide open throttle here. and then release the pedal. And then it tells you to step on the pedal again, holding the pillow until the meter goes into the green zone. So we're good. All the way good, so we're gonna go ahead and go to get started. I'm gonna get this toothpick out of my hand. It tells you not to be distracted while you're driving. We won't be distracted while we're driving. All right, so we were telling you in our unboxing video, there's really three different sets <coughs> of levels on the on the pedal monster. So you have city, you have sport, and you have track. And in each different one of these settings, you have 10 different sub-levels that we're gonna be able to use. Banks tells you to go ahead and start in the city level. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to increase the increase and decrease through the 10 levels by the up and down, which is um, what your bank super gauge or your data monster looks like. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to city and get it almost all the way um, uh, cranked up there and then we're going to take it out and try it here. At this point everything is paired so what you can do here is you can zip tie everything up inside of the truck and get it all squared away and get it cleaned up. So that's what we're going to do now before we go for our ride along. We're going to get everything zip tied up in the truck and then we'll go for a ride along and, and talk to you about what we what we like. Alright so the cool thing about the app and I'm going to let Adam pan down to this is you have uh, what your foot is actually doing and what Banks is telling the truck to do. Hey man, that's so much smoother than what Chevrolet already is because these have got a, just a bad lag. Excuse our, our squalling brakes on David's truck here. But you can see how that, how that responds and it shows what Banks is doing for you. And it's really just not a product test unless we just turn this thing wide daggone open, is it? Actually, you know what? Let's be good. Let's go to um, let's go to the track level. Now this only it doesn't work shift on the fly unless you release your foot completely off the accelerator and go back. So this let's do this is sport and then this is our 10 levels inside of sports. We were already pretty well cranked up here. So let's try that. I like that. That's pretty cool. So that's probably a, about a little bit twice as much as what the uh, as what uh, sport was or uh, city was. And now, Even what they want. give the people exactly what they want, the piece de resistance. Let's take it to track mode. 
crank it wide dag on open and then see where we're at here so off the throttle and then I mean you just think about pushing the throttle in just, so that's the track mode I'm about this 50% throttle is dang near full throttle that's cool so uh, some some pretty cool features inside the app too you can hit the little hamburger over here on the side tells you about your throttle curve uh, about the pedal monster um, your install manuals in there as well uh, this tells you whether your reverse safety is up down here and then if the uh, pedal monster is connected you can just turn it back, back to stock by just simply hitting stock and there you are. So city, sport, and track. I'm just gonna put it on sport for him where it's about half cranked up. Pretty easy to use, standalone. Um, yeah, nice product from Banks. Really, really like this. Definitely just made 100%. I, you know, we talk about this all the time on, 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 the, uh, on, on the, the throttle sensitivity boosters. Just makes a completely different truck out of it. But that is a really, really nice thing that Banks has got worked into this with the safety features that they have, the mobile app, uh, just really, really nice. I think it's a home run for these guys. So we're gonna do a couple more videos on this pedal monster. We're actually gonna put one in and integrate it with a Derringer that we've got on an Eco Diesel. So be looking for that video. Um, and I think we are going to pair one with a iDash data monster in a truck. In fact, it may be this truck here where we just install the data monster and then show the functionality of it used through there. So, link inside this video to purchase your pedal monster from us here at Thoroughbred Diesel. We also have a link for you to check out the unboxing video as well that's gonna to talk to you about some of the technical aspect, technical aspects of the pedal monster. And a big thank you to Banks for sending us this module to try out for them. This is a great product. You guys are in the market for this. We definitely suggest it. So. I'm Wade, Adam's my ride along. Thanks for watching guys.